Synchronicity refers to simultaneously occurring events that are not causally linked. The idea originates from the Swiss psychologist Carl Jung, who considered it to be evidence for the existence of archetypes and the collective unconscious. Now, archetypes are ideal models upon which to make copies and which are replicated endlessly in the world. And the collective unconscious is the collective mind of humanity and therefore, by extension, of the cosmos or the universe. In this context, though, we call this the informing principle. The informing principle. Synchronistic events uh, occur together and are not causally linked. They're derived from the influence of the informing principle that, ex that, that exists beyond the physical world of cause and effect. It exists beyond it, so we can't see the linkage between cause and effect. Lao Tzu called this the Tao in uh, the Tao Te Ching. Jung discussed synchronicity with uh, Albert Einstein and Wolfgang Pauli, who were both um, highly regarded physicists at the time. And Jung came to the conclusion that there were parallels between synchronicity and relativity theory, as well as quantum mechanics. Jung, beca Jung became very interested in exploring the idea that the phenomenal world was not a series of random events, but rather that it is derived from the influence of a deeper, unseen order. For, for a person seeking enlightenment, or Sartori, the benefit of synchronicity is that it draws your attention to uh, and leads you to a deeper awareness of the informing principle that is the cause of the events that happen around us. Synchronicity is the signpost which points to the unseen presence of this sublime influence. Synchronicity is a multimodal phenomenon in the sense that it manifests itself via any of, the, uh, any of the senses, any of your senses, or on the level of thought. It could be uh, something very ordinary, like hearing a particular word on the radio or TV. And just as you hear it, you see the same word on a sign as you drive by, or you see the object that it refers to. It might be a train of thought that you're having, and while that same thought is uh, expressed via some channel in your environment, uh, you were just thinking about it and then you saw it on a sign or heard it on TV. It could be really anything that appears connected to some other causally unrelated thing. It might also explain why uh, more than one inventor might be working on the same idea at the same time, but they don't know anything about each other. The experience of synchronicity is a very positive sign because it indicates uh, a merging of your ordinary awareness with that of your higher self, which is that microcosmic part of you that is in tune, always in tune, and aware of the greater reality, the informing principle of the macrocosm outside. This growing awareness brings you to the threshold of enlightenment, or Satori. By recognizing synchronicity and cultivating intuition, you're effectively merging your mind with the collective mind of the universe. And therefore, you begin to have access to the knowledge that is contained in that collective mind or the mind of the universe. We call this collective mind uh, the informing principle here in this video, but it has many names. 
cosmic mind, universal mind, God, nature, life force. Whatever we call it, though, is not so important as to recognize that it permeates the entire universe. 